Hey guys, it's Jacob Mives from the Southern Outdoorsman. I hope you're doing well today. Today in our video series we've been doing about saddle hunting, uh, we're going to do a review on two different platform setups for you and see what makes the most sense. We have the Predator that retails about 170 and we're going to see what fits us the best and what might make the most sense for you so you can make a decision. Again, with such a, dip, a big price difference, one might make more sense for you, especially if you're just trying to get into saddle hunting. So I hope you enjoy this review. So guys, I really do like the the Predator platform. One of the reason why is it allows you to get a lot more footing up here, to be able to stand up, readjust, wherever you need to adjust, and have a little bit more movement, especially for a new saddle hunter. It, it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I do like the ring steps as well. But again, one thing that's really nice about this is being cast aluminum. You know, us hunting out of, or used to hunt out of uh, Lone Wolves quite a lot. I love the cast aluminum platform. Very strong, very quiet. Um, one complaint that a lot of people were having when the Predator was really starting to ship out was the uh, the washers and bushings in here were popping um, from factory and a lot of people were complaining about it. you had to take the ball out put some bow wax or whatever on there to sign up since that happened I believe that Greg and uh, Ernie had kind of solved that and I'm guessing they're already pre lubing the bushings and the, and the washers beforehand because mine has not made any noise since I received it. I have not done anything to this completely stocked, haven't painted or anything. Uh, another thing that I really like about this platform is it's textured on the side with this side angle, which is nice for when you're trying to get around the edge of the tree, try and take it, you're trying to take a shot, say off your weak side and you're trying to get up and around the tree a little bit. This gives you a good footing, but also you feel safe that you can push the edge of your boot right there and be able to push off. I really do like that aspect. So the one negative guys about the predator platform that i've noticed is the strap the strap is extremely soft um if you have like a lone wolf strap guys the lone wolf strap is a lot stiffer uh which to me is a little more durable as you can see here i have quite a bit of these little pulls on here from the threading now that's kind of annoying uh, especially when you're up in the tree and it's dark and you're just trying to get this on there you know nice and tight if you don't pull it completely straight through there, it'll tear up your strap like that. That's the only negative I have about so far. It is a little bit heavier. Actually, it's about, I think, a pound and a half heavier than the ring of steps. Um, but it's one of those things that, as a new hunter, a new saddle hunter, this makes a lot of sense for you and be able to get up there and feel very secure on this platform. Uh, also, the texture on the side is very nice for when you're trying to get up and around the tree a little bit, trying to take an offward shot, or really just trying to look around the tree, get to your bag that's on the back side of the tree, or whatever. This texturing is very nice for your boot. Uh, and then also the, the edge they put on the front end of the platform makes a lot of sense. Uh, gives you a nice foothold for when you're going up around the tree. Also again, cam locking this thing is very easy, very simple. Get it snug, pull up on it, snug it down, push down, cam it out, and it will lock in there extremely tight. Uh, that's another thing I like about this. It's very secure, it's not gonna move on you. And it's gonna give you security in any situation, especially for a new hunter. Now this right here is exactly how I'd set up if I was hunting. Um, I, I like to have just enough lean back where I'm just past kind of standing up. This is pretty comfortable for me. Tether a little, right at, a little above head height, right at head height uh, is what makes you know sense for me. Everyone else is a little bit different. But this platform, guys, is plenty big enough for you to be able to stand up on it. And again, you're not freestanding like this, which you can. So this is a cool aspect about it, but you're not freestanding on the platform like this and you're like, you know, worried about falling. So it's plenty big enough to get on that's a lot of concerns i've heard from a lot of guys that are getting into saddle hunting is hey that platform doesn't look very big you know i'm used to hunting out of trees and i understand that um but it is plenty big for what you need it is super solid and gives you plenty of foothold to be able to go all the way around the tree and take a shot right here okay super comfortable it's quiet when you're stepping on it doesn't make any noise and it allows you to pivot all the way around the tree Put the, tuck that knee into that tree and you're perfectly good, okay? Shoot any angle. This is what I like about this platform. Another thing I like about it, which if my cameraman, old Andrew Maxwell, will come down here and show you, is you can sit sideways to the tree like this, okay? Now on a bigger tree, this is pretty nice. Now this tree's a little small, but you can sit sideways like this. If a deer's coming up behind you, especially I like to pistol hunt, if a deer's coming up behind you, okay? Instead of turning like this, it's kind of hard to shoot a pistol like that. Again, pistol hunting. Um, you can actually come down here rotate your body just like this and I can come over the top of my chest holster and shoot perfectly okay that's what I like about it as well I've done this in the ring of steps um actually I shot one of my bucks like this in the ring of steps and I'll show you that once we put that up here but this right here makes a lot of sense for me as an overall easy platform to get in gives you plenty of confidence especially as a new saddle hunter 
and it gives you a lot of versatility. Yes, it's a little heavier, but again, the versatility to be able to get up here and pivot any way you need to is very key. So that's one reason I like this platform. Again, the only negative I have about it so far is just the strap. The strap, I wish it was stiffer. Um, I might switch it out for a lone wolf strap. I got a couple extra ones just to have it a little stiffer, a little more rigid, a little easier maneuver. And again, it's not gonna tear up the strap uh, with a lot of use. But other than that, guys, it's a great platform, super solid, and uh, it's definitely worth it if you're willing to spend the money. Again, a price point on it's about $170. I know it's pretty steep for a lot of guys. You can build platforms for a little bit cheaper, but again, the quality of this platform speaks for itself, and I definitely would highly recommend it.